what I have here today is a little baby eastern cottontail bunny. This is a female and I've been caring for her for a few weeks or a little more. The, uh, the property owner out here had a uh, someone come out and brush hog the, the property. I had feared that her mother might have been killed because uh, I didn't see the mother coming around uh, for quite a while after that. The nest was in my backyard. This little baby bunny here just narrowly escaped being stepped on about uh, three times. I, I actually stepped right on her once. I believe it was this one, but uh, I was wearing house shoes, and uh, as soon as I started to put my foot down, I, I felt something underneath, and so I, I raised my foot back up. But she had a sibling, but I haven't seen the, uh, the sibling since the, uh, the brush hog came through, so I'm a little worried that uh, something bad might have happened to her, her sibling. But this little girl here, she was about 30 or 40 grams when I decided to uh, bring her in and just care for her so, uh, so that she didn't get run over by a lawnmower or stepped on by somebody out here. And not knowing whether her mama was still coming around, went back out there and checked on her a couple times. And um, she was getting close to weaning age, so I, I couldn't really tell whether she was being fed or not, but she, she was a little dehydrated when I decided to go ahead and bring her in. And uh, she was about somewhere between 30 and 40 grams at that time. And she is weighing about 234 grams now. So this is a pretty good time to let her go now. And it's uh, evening, the sun has uh, set. And I've got quite a few cottontails around here that frequent the area and they like to come over here to to this side yard and forage and uh, they'll forage around for some of the fruit and veggies I, I throw over the, the fence that uh, my other critters don't eat. While uh, it's hard sometimes to uh, turn out something this cute that you've you've raised up and uh, I of course uh, worry about them you know all the little babies that I've, I've raised up and taken care of as uh, hard a life as it may be out here in the wild for them and as short as their uh, lifespan may be uh, the fact is she's a she's a wild critter she's uh, was old enough when she was taken in to to know that she was wild uh, under those circumstances she'll always be happier being a, a wild critter and uh, in captivity these uh, small mammals, especially the ones like the cottontails that are prey animals for so many other species, they'll just never really settle down in captivity. They'll, they'll always be uh, high strung and stressed out and jumping around in their uh, cages and hurting themselves, uh, rubbing their snouts on the bars and everything. And so uh, she would never be happy living a life in captivity. This is a good lesson for, for everybody. I would recommend, you know, don't, don't try to keep these guys as pets, as cute as they are and everything. They're just gonna be happier and um, less stressed out, actually, if they're uh, out there in the wild. And they're pretty good at evading predators. <laughs> I uh, tested her out and uh, had her uh, out running around the, the house to, uh, just to see how she was, and she was pretty good at getting away from me. I, I had a heck of a time catching her myself, and that was in the house. So, I'm gonna go ahead and let her go now. Go, oh, baby. She's going right for the, the safety of the, uh, the foliage near the fence. 
I'd actually planned to her uh, release inside the fence anyway because uh, there's plenty of foliage uh, for them to, uh, plenty of stuff for them to forage on here inside the fence. And it actually, you may not be able to see her on camera, but it, she's right over there. It looks like she's already found something to start eating. She's right in there. So I'll be uh, continuing to keep an eye out for her out here to see if she's hanging around the area and uh, hope she does well around here.